Hi there, we are at the end of month five. So we have, a, I just have a couple of tips for these. <clears throat> the first thing is I want you to look at the center of these. This one matches up and this one does not. Doesn't matter. If it's just a slight bit off, you really can't tell too much. I mean, I know that you're looking at it hard and you can see it, but when you start flipping it around and you start, you can't tell as much, right? So don't worry about it. And that one look, I mean, that one's like dead on and it looks like it's off and it's not. So keep, keep some realism as you're doing these. You've got a lot of pieces. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of fabric coming together in one tiny spot. Give yourself a little bit of, um, what is it? Grace with this, right? Just, just kind of let it, let it do its thing. Okay. So these are the two we're making. My biggest outside of that one, my biggest tip for you is when you're cutting these triangles, cut off all the tips. That makes this go so much more smoothly than if you were otherwise doing that. Sorry, I want to get the, um, I want to get the pattern book while I'm here in case I need to think of anything. Also, when you're cutting your squares for block C, specifically for block C, make sure your longest length is horizontal, not vertical. We've been doing longest length vertical, but now this time we want it horizontal. And it, you should be able to get all that you need out of that. You just have to think about it before you cut it. Um, again, if I could go back in time and make sure that all those were 10 by 10, then I would. Um, but I was assured that it would be accurate and obviously it's not. Now with that, I've had several customers coming in and telling me that they've gotten um, 10 inch charms packs from the manufacturers and they haven't been 10 inch square either. So I don't think it's, it's an industry issue. Um, they probably should make those 10 and a half and then um, say that they're for 10 inch squares. So anyway, moving on from that, that's my biggest tip for you is really do the notches in these triangles. I know there's a lot of triangles. There's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, yeah, 20 triangles. Take the time. Now, if you were wondering what this is, because I was using this quite a bit on cutting the triangles and trimming the tips off of them. This is the um, fussy cut shapes that um, Julie put out. Actually, I will show you all the shapes. It comes with that triangle, it comes with a half square, a diamond, um, a smaller half square, uh, a hex and a half hex. So those are all her fussy cut shapes. They've got the seam allowance on printed on there and it's got a little bit of a grippy on it um, a little bit too. So that's helpful as well. But I am using the triangle one to cut for the pillow that we're going to use with the leftover and um, also to trim off points on triangles of any size, by the way, because it's an equilateral, you can do it to trim even the bigger ones. All right, so that's an explanation there. Other than that, I kind of, I'm starting to feel great about this. Like I'm with y'all, I'm not an expert. I didn't design these rulers, but I'm really starting to see how much they can be used even when I want to design something of my own. Um, and also, you know, we're over halfway now, right? This is more than halfway. When you did one block, you were halfway, but you did two. So now we're more than halfway. Hang in there. We've got some good stuff coming. Um, the Whether you finish or not, everyone who participated in the sew along is going to get a prize at the end. But if you finish, 
and you'll get, well, you'll get some prizes that we've got from manufacturers and stuff, but you'll also get a patch. And if you finish, you'll also get a finisher pen. You'll get everything everyone else is getting plus the finisher pen. So I'm really excited about that to be able to do that for y'all. All right. You have a wonderful time sewing this. I'm really excited. They turned out super cute. I love it. Um, and we will see you next week with this month's winner. All right, guys. Happy sewing.